Okay, this is to show you how to organize your stuff for your Android project. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder. Uh, this one is called class name that I'm having just for this test, but it could be, um, you know, called CPS 251 or something like that. All right, so this is where all your projects are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up class name. You can see that right now it's empty. Why? Because we don't have any projects in it. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up uh, Android. And I'm going to create a new project. And I'm just going to do a, um, it doesn't really matter, uh, basic activity is fine. I'm going to click next. And I'm going to call this project one, but obviously yours will be called whatever it's supposed to be named. And then in here, we want to select that folder. So you come here and you say, okay, I'm not going to be putting it there. I'm going to put it into class name, click OK. And then you just uh, do your backslash and then you put in um, the folder name itself. Okay, so you have to make it like that. So that's where we're going to put it. We're going to make sure we have select Kotlin, Android 8.0 Oreo, and I click finish. Okay, so I did a little editing magic and I skipped the part where it takes uh, the time to load up. It took about two and a half minutes to load up. So now we have our project and let's pretend that we finished it. Okay, so we've written our code and we have everything set and we finished our project. And so now what we want to do is we want to put it onto GitHub. Okay, so everything works, everything's fine here. All right, so we can just go ahead and close, um, well, we could just close the project. All right, we won't close Android Studio yet, but we'll just close the project out. And you can see now in my folder, my class name folder, I have project one. And if we open up project one, there's all our Android um, files and folders that were created by Android Studio, okay? Um, so uh, what do we gotta do is we gotta get this project one up onto our GitHub page. Very simple to do. We just go to our terminal window or to PowerShell, whatever you want to use. I'm assuming you've already installed Git and you've watched that video on how to do that. So the rest of it's really simple. Here's my class name folder. If I do git status, you can see that it wants to put project one up there. You don't have to do git status, but it's just to see what's going to happen. Then I do git add and a dot. Um, it's going to basically give me these warnings. That's perfectly fine. And then uh, let me clear my screen so you can see it. And then I'm going to do git uh, commit m and then update or whatever you want to call. Okay. I'll just do updates. Okay. And so I'm now uh, committing that. I'll clear my screen again. And we're going to do git push origin. And you, if you followed the directions um, on the current version of GitHub, they probably used you, had you do main. So it might, yours might be git push origin main. It doesn't, you know, mine's master, yours is main. It's just a naming thing. Okay. So if I hit that and it takes a few seconds, now it looks like everything's done. I open up my browser. I go to my GitHub repository page and I go to where it says class name. I just refresh it like that. And there's project one, just like that. Now that's the first week. It's done. Now here's how you do it for the second week. I open up Android again. I do new project. Let's just uh, do big activity again. Click next. I'm going to call this whatever my next project name is. I'm just going to call this project um, two. Okay. And you see down here, because our last save location was in class name, it automatically put us there again. So now we're all set. Click, uh, make sure we have Kotlin selected, Oreo, and do finish. Okay, and again, I edited the video to um, save the loading time, but basically, uh, here it is. Let's pretend now our project two is done. So we're all done with project two. Uh, we just do a file. We can close the project. You don't have to close the project, but I just tend to do it. And then what we do is we go back into our terminal window or um, PowerShell or whatever you're gonna be using. And if we do uh, get status again, um, you can see that uh, all the uh, project files are there, okay? But we're just gonna do um, git uh, add and a dot. Got the same messages, that's fine. Clear, git commit hyphen m updates. Just like that, okay, that's fine. And then we just do git um, push, and again, minus origin master. Yours might be origin main, just whatever you set it up with. And that's it. And then when we go over to um, our GitHub repository again, we're in class name, you see we have project one here. We just refresh that and there's project two. And that's the way I want to see you do it. So basically within that class name folder, 
which would be say CPS 251 or something like that, you're going to have all your projects for the entire semester in that one folder, all in their each individual folder. So you can see when you click on say project one, there's all the files and folders that were created by Android Studio for that project. Okay, so it makes it very nice uh, and neat and nice way to organize things. All right. Okay, that's it.